What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at some more older than you think I am stories. You look like a child though. This happened in 2017 when one of my favorite movie series Saw had another movie out, Jigsaw. As it was R-rated, plus 18 in my country, I was confident I could get in as I was 24 years old and had my ID with me. I went to my local theater, excited to finally see an R-rated movie without my mother being there. The trouble began when I went up to the woman in the ticket box and she asked me which movie I wanted. Upon me telling that I wanted to see Jigsaw, she said, "Your too young for this movie now note that i was around 45 to 46 kilograms and a five foot four and kind of petite girl i immediately rolled my eyes as i get that all the time and took my id card out and gave it to her she looked at the id and did a triple take obviously shocked uh, i will you give me my ticket already the movie is about to start you know i said impatiently and she gave me the ticket and my id back with a mumbled apology and i thought it was the end of it i sat through the entire movie and had fun, especially with the ending. But when I got out of the theater, I saw the woman and a security officer waiting at the door for me. I really didn't know they were waiting until she pointed at me and said, that's the girl. The security man took a look at me and immediately looked horrified and called me to their side while calling me a little girl, annoying me. What is it, mister? Is there a problem? I said, and the man replied with, why did you commit an ID fraud to get into a movie like this? You're too young. I was speechless for a moment before I told them to look up my ID in the database so that they knew I was telling the truth. Oh, and when they did that, the look on the ticket employee's face was priceless. She apologized five or so times, but I didn't even reply. Too angry, as while this wasn't the first time I was mistaken for being too young, this certainly was my first time running into trouble for that. And the thing the security officer said made me even more annoyed. It was, You look like a child, though. Okay, surely there was an easy way to avoid this entire situation. Why did the ticket person not just check that your ID was legit when you got your ticket? tickets instead of waiting for after the movie what the heck fair enough if someone thinks you're underneath the age i mean you said you're 45 kilograms and five foot four and kind of petite that makes sense but surely then just check their id make sure it's real and then just let them in when you know they're older than 18 like come on and as for the security guard at the end saying you look like a child though yes you may look like a child but don't say that you now know they're 24 years old what the heck moving on to our second story here are my stories as a four foot 11 woman oh here we go the first First one, when I was 19, on a family vacation, my parents and I were walking around a mall. We ducked into a shoe store because both my mum and I wanted some new shoes. I wanted to try on some boots and I wasn't sure what size I would be in this brand, so I suggested a size 7 to start with. She came back with the boots and wanted to help me put it on, which I thought was weird, but I went with it. She pushed around the boots on my foot and then said in a sing-song baby voice, Sweetie, it looks like this size is too big. Your feet might still be growing, but let's see what your mummy says okay i didn't want the boots that bad so i just said i was done there various times in my 20s host slash hostesses asking my parents if i needed a child's menu when we got together for dinner when i was 34 i was volunteering for a local political campaign i was signing in with a volunteer coordinator and she pulled up my profile on a laptop which showed her my availability if i wanted to do door-to-door canvassing phone bank envelope stuffing etc suddenly she looked kind of alarmed looked up at me looked back at her screen looked back at me and started laughing she said i'm sorry i just caught your age on here i assumed you were in college then when i was 37 i was at the mall doing some christmas shopping and i saw the guy at the hickory farms kiosk was out with a big tray handing out samples when it was my turn i stepped up and the guy gave me a weird look i smiled and asked what he was sampling he said you have to be 15 years old to try the samples i cocked my eyebrow and said well i'm 30 37. He stammered back something about me looking like a kid who was running around there earlier. Granted, I was wearing an old grungy Gap hoodie, jeans, and chucks, but still. Oh my god, so it sounds as if OP has been having problems for almost 20 years. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you can do about this one. There are similarities here with the first story. If you're short and you look way younger than you are, yeah, I'm not really sure what you can do. I 
I guess you may have to put some heels on and wear some makeup, but nobody really wants to do that consistently, do they? Maybe OP, when you get to about 80 or 90, they'll finally stop thinking you're under 18. Now for our final story, three times in one day. This story occurs about 18-ish months ago. At the time, I was 23, working full-time and lived on my own. It was an early summer day, British summer, so warm but not too warm, and I had a doctor's appointment scheduled for 10.30 a.m. on a rare midweek day off. I'm wearing a knee-length cotton summer dress, cardigan and white converse with my hair in a ponytail. No makeup, carrying a battered old backpack that I'd used since graduating university two years prior to the events of the day. I walked from my home to the train station to catch the train to near my doctor's surgery. At the station, all of the ticket machines were out of order, and as I arrived, so did the train company to issue handwritten tickets to those waiting on the stop. When it came to my turn, I had my fare ready and asked for what I needed, at which point he asked to see my pass. I asked what he meant and he informed me that in order to issue a child's ticket I needed my ID card that the company issues to under 16s in school I laughed and said thanks, but i'm actually 23. I left school before you even introduced the scheme He apologized profusely and said he thought I was about 15 and issued me with the correct ticket type I then board the train and head on to my appointment still chuckling about the interaction at the surgery I was instructed to go for blood testing which at the time was carried out off-site at our local hospital's blood testing department. I was given a piece of paper to take to the surgery receptionist to obtain a blood testing bag and the printed labels for the test I was having done. At reception, the lady I handed the sheet to got the bag and said to me, and don't you forget she would need to take your mum or dad with you? I asked what she meant because I'd had regular blood tests over the years and never had to take someone with me. Well, under 16s need to have a parent or guardian with them during blood tests. I once again laughed and said, that's very flattering, but I am actually 23 which is on the page in your hand she also laughed and apologized saying i'd been blessed with a youthful face which i'd be grateful for when i was her age i took my bag and went on my way on my way home i decided to stop in town to pick up a few bits and pieces that i need before heading home to do some chores i've not long been there when i feel a hand grasp the handle on the top of my bag and physically pull me to a stop i spin round to see a behemoth of a man in a suit who was the one who stopped me he then asked me what are you doing i tell him it's none of his business what i'm doing but why has he stopped me he tells me not to get smart with him and again asks what i'm doing at this point i start to turn and walk away but he steps in front of me he asks me where my uniform is what i'm doing out of school at this time and what lesson i should be in right now at which point it clicks that he thinks i'm a school student doing a bunk there is a secondary school just outside our town center two minutes walk which has a serious issue with students skipping lessons and going into town as a countermeasure teachers with free lessons are expected to walk into town to police the shopping precinct and make sure any kids are brought back to school and handed detentions i did not attend this school at any stage i informed the behemoth that i am not a student at his school and would appreciate if he backs off and lets me pass as his behavior is inappropriate he basically called me a liar by this point a few people are staring so i go full performance mode and say loudly i am not a student at your school or any school i am older than i look he again calls me a liar and says if i don't go to local school which school do i go to so he can report my truancy it's important to know that my school closed down the year i left to join up with another local school under a new name so in a smart but move i told him the name of my school he tells me to try again as that school closed seven years previously i tell him i am well aware because i'm 23 and was in the last leaving class i then pull out my id which confirms my name and age at this point he goes a sort of purple color and makes a strangled choking sound because he really could not argue with the evidence in his hand to add insults i asked for his name because i had every intention of speaking to the school about his behavior he declined shoved my id at me turned tail and walked away a few of the onlookers checked if i was okay and after being assured i was i headed off towards the school long story short i reported the teacher for being rude and for manhandling me as that is not acceptable on my way out i saw the teacher heading back in and he knew what i had done i like to think he was given detention i still get laughs when i discuss this day with people and following a further incident of being mistaken for a teenager i never wore
wore the outfit again. Well, this must be some sort of record. Three times in one day? Oh my god. I feel like a common theme that I see throughout a couple of these stories on this subreddit is that people mistake your age and then say, oh, you're so lucky. And I know that in general, it is obviously better to look younger than you actually are. But for these people who post these stories in r slash older than you think I am, it doesn't seem like a positive thing. Like, take this third story here. This person was manhandled by a huge man in public. That's not exactly a good thing, right? Their second story, yeah, it does seem flattering when they say under 16s need to have a parent or guardian with them during the blood test, and then they say, no, I'm actually 23. That is probably a good thing, right? But when you're publicly manhandled and shouted at, that's probably a little bit scary. I'm not sure that's a good thing after all. Actually, I want to hear your opinions on this one, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you rather have people think you're older than you are, have people think you're the same age that you are, or have people think you are younger than you are? To be honest, I'm quite happy that I kind of look my age. I think that's probably the best thing, but you guys let me know. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of r slash older than you think I am. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like the video, comment your opinions down below, and subscribe for two videos each and every day on my channel throughout the month of December. Also, if you want some more older than you think I am content from me click the video on screen I promise you won't regret it with that being said I will see you guys all later today with another video on the channel